Okay guys, so now that the truck is at the shop, we're gonna start breaking it apart to see what parts we need to replace or fix. With that being said, let's get right into it. All right guys, so I'm gonna sound a bit confusing, but what we're gonna do is take off this front end and put it in the Longhorn Edition, and the new front end, we're gonna put it into this front end. If I don't make sense, I'm sorry. All right guys, so with that being said, let's get right into it. All right guys, so now that the truck has arrived to a shop, we did buy some parts, which includes the front bumper, the grill, the two headlights, the fender, and the absorber. The only thing that's missing is the reinforcement bar. With that being said, let's start digging. All right guys, once we open up the hood, we're gonna start taking off this whole front end. In this case, we're working inside out, starting off the plastic that covers the grill. And after that, we started to take off the grill. Once we took off the grill, I went ahead and took off the passenger fender and went on to take off the headlights. In this case, the headlights are not in good condition, so we'll need to replace them with new aftermarket headlights to give it the crispy look it needs. Moving on to the front upper bumper, we'll need to take off several bolts and some clips in the middle. After that, we're going more into detail by removing the upper bumper bracket to move on to the front lower bumper. In this case, we'll also be replacing the front bumper with the used bumper that we got from the marketplace. Well guys, there we have it. All the exterior parts are off so that we can start taking off the radio support to place it onto the other ram that we also bought. Now that we removed all the parts, it's time to place the used parts that we had purchased on the marketplace to place them onto this truck. So we started by putting the black fender and aligned it so that the door could close properly. Then we went on and started to install the other ram's radiator support. Going on to the back, we started to remove the old rear bumper to see if it didn't have any damages on the bed. 